good morning i am dr alok agarwal and i welcome you all on the third lecture of our course internal combustion engine in this lecture we will study about the various component of ic engine and the important nomenclature associated with it okay so in this lecture what we will be studying will be studying the basic components of ic engine which is a, uh, i think a revision of basic mechanical engineering subject that we have already read we will discuss it in detail and next is the nomenclature used in ic engine this nomenclature portion is very important because we are using this nomenclature throughout the subject okay so first of all start with basic engine component okay so this is the basic uh, figure of our ic engine okay so we will be discussing one by one the various component what i have written various component associated with this the first is <coughs> cylindrical block okay so this portion is our cylindrical block this lower portion is called our cylindrical block in which <coughs> the crankshaft rotates okay this is our crankshaft in which the crankshaft rotates this circle is showing the path of other end of the crankshaft one end will be the in support and other end the path followed by this end is shown by the circle and this cylindrical block in which the our crankshaft rotates this is very important component because it carries the complete load of our engine this has to be very strong okay next is our cylinder above the cylinder block the it is cylinder is attached to it this portion this portion is called cylinder the color i have made same so that it is easy to understand this is this portion is called cylinder okay this is located over the cylindrical block in which piston move inside this cylinder the piston will reciprocate okay next is piston this is again a circular cross section component which is which reciprocates inside the cylinder it will move up and it will move down and it will be operated <coughs> with the help of this crankshaft via connecting rod and pin pin okay next one is combustion chamber combustion chamber is a space between the upper portion of the piston and this cylinder head this portion is called cylinder head this is a cylinder ka top portion we call it as a cylinder head so the space available between the upper portion of the piston and cylinder head is called combustion chamber this is a variable uh, variable volume uh, portion okay the volume of this combustion chamber will continuously changes when piston moves from uh, top to bottom and from bottom to top it is not a fixed quantity portion that is combustion chamber next one is intake manifold here you are seeing this pipe okay this pipe is called intake manifold with with this intake manifold the air or mixture of air fuel will come come from outside to the combustion chamber it will be a pipe it will be a path followed by the air fuel mixture or air to induct the charge from outside world to the combustion chamber is called intake manifold next one is exhaust manifold after the combustion completed there will be a waste gas we called it as a exhaust gas and to remove this exhaust gas from the cylinder we took the help of exhaust manifold this is again a pipe which is used to remove the exhaust gases the used gases the waste gases from inside the cylinder to the outside atmosphere next one is inlet and exhaust valve this valve this one is inlet valve and this is exhaust valve it is its function is to operate with the help of crankshaft and it guide when the air fuel mixture is required it will open and when the air fuel mixture is not required it is closed again when we have to uh, exhaust this gases from cylinder to the outside world this exhaust valve is open and rest of the time it is closed so these are the valves which is operated by the crankshaft and it decides when the mixture air fuel mixture or air will come inside the cylinder and this exhaust valve the one when the combustion product which is available inside the combustion chamber will go out of the cylinder okay so this this is again very important component 
of this IC engine inlet valve and exhaust valve. Next is spark plug or fuel injector. See, I had written spark plug or fuel injector because in case of IC engine, they have seen in the classification that on the basis of ignition system, IC engine is classified in two different types. First one is spark ignition engine and second one is compression ignition engine. So in a spark ignition engine, spark plug is required and in compression engine ignition engine, fuel injector is required. So depending upon which type of engine we are uh, talking, it is a spark plug, either a spark plug or it is either fuel injector. Okay, so here uh, it is saying spark plug, so it can be seen, it can be said that this is a structure of IC engine. Rest of the things will be same in place of a spark plug, it will be a fuel injector when we are talking about compression ignition engine. Next is connecting rod. This connecting rod is a rod which connects piston with crankshaft. Okay, so uh, what it is doing, <coughs> it is used to convert this reciprocating, uh, reciprocating motion of piston to the rotary motion of crankshaft. Okay, so this is connecting rod. Next one is crankshaft. This portion is crankshaft. Okay, crank and crankshaft combination. This is in a circular motion, in the circular motion, where this reciprocating motion of piston via connecting rod converted into rotary motion. Next one is crank pin. The pin which connect the crank to the connecting rod is called crank pin. The pin which connect connecting rod to the piston is called gudgeon pin. Cam and camshaft and its mechanism camshaft and mechanism is very important which is not shown in this figure as it is located above the valves okay there is arrangement can arrangement over the both the valves which decide when the inlet valve will be open and closed and when the outlet or exhaust valve will be open and closed and this is done by the rotation of crankshaft okay so there is a link between crankshaft and this inlet and outlet valve with the help of <coughs> camshaft and its mechanism. And finally, the flywheel. The function of the flywheel is to store energy and deliver it when required. When engine is not working or when engine is under some uh, serious condition, the energy is taken from the flywheel. Otherwise, the energy which is uh, engine produced, a part of energy is getting stored in the flywheel. So these are the important component of IC engine. Next one is nomenclature. First is cylinder bore. Cylinder bore, it is denoted by small d, which is a nominal inner diameter of cylinder. The inside diameter of the cylinder is called cylinder bore. Piston area is, again, we consider generally piston uh, cylinder bore and uh, area uh, diameter of piston same, though it is a little bit clearance, but we neglect it. So the area of the piston will be 5 by 4 d square. Next is stroke. That's the important term is stroke. It is the nominal distance to which a piston moves between two consecutive reversals means when piston is moving up from most upward side to the most downward side. The distance travel in this position, in this part, when piston moves from top position to bottom position, it is called stroke. Okay. Next is stroke to bore ratio. Bore we have seen that nominal inner diameter stroke that is L. When, the, when we are talking about the ratio of L by D, we call it a stroke to bore ratio. And on the basis of this ratio, we decide the size of the engine. If D is smaller than L, we call it as an under square engine. When D is greater than L, we call it as a over square engine. And when D is equal to L, we call it a square engine. Again, important term is dead center. Dead center means the point from where the piston changes its direction. Okay. When piston is moving up and suddenly it reverses direction from up to down, that is called top dead center. And when piston is moving down and when it reverses direction from top to up, we call it a bottom dead center. So there are two types of dead center. One is top dead center and one is bottom dead center. And it is the point from where the piston reverses direction during the completion of the stroke. Okay. Next important, very important term is displacement or swept volume. It is the volume swept by the working piston when it travels from one dead center to another dead center. Means if suppose the piston is in the top dead center, in the topmost position, and it travels from top dead center to bottom dead center, it will travel some distance that is equal to stroke length 
and it, with this it will cover some area so length into area will become volume the volume covered by piston when it moves from one dead center to another dead center is called square volume so if you consider that there is a diameter of bore is d and stroke length is l then square volume will be area into volume will be area into length and it will be pi by 4 d square into l cubic capacity or engine capacity means it depends upon the swept volume and the number of cylinder see if there is a single cylinder engine the cubic capacity will be pi by 4 d square into l but if it is a multi cylinder engine that we have seen that engine i think engine is classified on the basis of number of cylinder single cylinder is engine is called uh, if there is a single cylinder we call it a single cylinder engine and if it is more than one cylinder we call it as a multi cylinder engine so on the basis of number of cylinder engine capacity is decided like cubic capacity it is denoted by cubic capacity cc jo hum engine ka bolte hai kitne cc ki gaadi hai maruti 800 800 cc ki gaadi hai so it is not like one cylinder has a volume of 800 cubic centimeter it is depend upon the number of cylinder generally maruti uh, is 800 cc engine with four cylinder so each cylinder will be of 200 cc so cubic capacity is defined as the swept volume of the engine into the number of cylinder the volume of cylinder into the number of cylinder k is denote the number of cylinder okay so this is again very important uh, things which we are not knowing very much that is what is cubic capacity it is the swept volume multiplied by the number of cylinder next is clearance volume clearance volume is the volume remains at the top of the engine when piston is at top dead center जब पिस्टन पूरा का पूरा टॉप डेट सेंटर में है उसके बाद जितना वॉल्यूम बच जाता है दैट इज कॉल्ड क्लीयरेंस वॉल्यूम देन व्हाट विल बी द सिलेंडर वॉल्यूम सिलेंडर वॉल्यूम इज व्हेन द पिस्टन इज एट द बॉटम डेट सेंटर सो इट विल बी द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टोटल वॉल्यूम या सिलेंडर वॉल्यूम इज द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ स्वेप्ट वॉल्यूम एंड क्लीयरेंस वॉल्यूम बिकॉज़ क्लीयरेंस वॉल्यूम इज द वॉल्यूम रिमेंस एट द टॉप ऑफ द सिलेंडर व्हेन piston is at top dead center and when piston move from top dead center to bottom dead center it will swept the volume that is equal to swept volume okay so total volume of cylinder volume is a sum of swept volume and clearance volume the last and very important term is compression ratio this is the most important term which governs the overall things of the ic engine so compression ratio is the ratio of total cylinder volume that is b when the piston is at the bottom dead center the piston bottom dead center mein to kitna volume hoga that is v to the clearance volume the piston top dead center mein tab kitna volume hoga so it is v by r it is denoted by small r and it is v by vc this we can be written as from here vs plus vc and <coughs> when we solve it it will be 1 plus vs by vc so this is the compression ratio it is very important uh the very important term as it decide the we will see in uh, coming classes that it will decide the efficiency of the engine the efficiency of the engine is mainly depend upon the compression ratio of the engine okay so this is the nomenclature various important terms that are associated with our ic engine that we have to keep in our mind and we have to know each and every term in very much detail and we will use this term throughout the uh, coverage of the course so in today's class we have seen the basic engine component and the various nomenclature associated with it so this is all for today's class thank you in next class we will start with working of ic engine okay so thank you class